Hello again, my lovelies. Rebecca here. Welcome back to my channel and welcome to Around the World in 30 Days, Day 10, along with the monthly hop called Cut Apart Crazy. It is the brainchild of the lovely Laura Alberts. And we basically take a collection, a cut apart sheet, and create a layout. So I'm going to create a pocket page. And here's the pocket page that we are going to do. So it is, I'm going to sneeze. Bless me. Six four by sixes. So I'm going to do both sides. And I'm actually going to use two cut apart sheets. One from each of the collections that I'm using. So I am going to basically cut them and try to fit the pictures in where they can best be located. And I'm going to do all of, this is my brother-in-law and my mother-in-law. This was Doug hugging his mom after he got his 40th birthday present, which happened to be a very beautiful Mustang. There it is right there, Doug with his Mustang. Doug, his wife, and two children in the Mustang, in the Mustang, in the Mustang, and then leaving. So, we are going to get... Like those. I'm going to do those three on the first page and the other four on the back page. So I'm actually. This is what we're going to do. Maybe I'll only end up using one of those. I don't know. But we are going to. I am just going to use the photos. <laughs> like so. Oh, you know what? That was wrong. We need to go boom. Goodness gracious. So, listed down below will be all of my lovely peeps that play along with Cut Apart Crazy each uh, month. And everybody that's playing along with Stash Dive Tuesday. I'm going to do it like that. Yes, would do. So, we won't even have to trim up anything but that first photo. I have been more conscious on turning my camera to get different angles. So, to be fair, I probably will cut that photo as well. So, let's just pull that out. All right, so I'm going to trim the photos that I need that need to be trimmed. I'm going to take this one. I will put. So I've got a plan. Um, just give me a minute, and I'll be right back. So basically, I guess I should just tell you, right? So I'm going to trim this one down, and I'm going to mat it on this one, and this is going to be the first one, right? And then we'll kind of just. Do one like this, and one like this, and then come in ones that we can cover up things I think we're going to try real hard, probably get a journaling bit on there like this, so one in a momento, and I'll be back after this is all cut the way that I need it to be cut, and then you can see what's in my head, because clearly my words are not coming out. Real quick, this was what I was envisioning, okay, so we've got a very happy birthday to you, Doug hugging his mom, I'm going to do some embellishments here. Uh, a little bit of journey and embellishments there, embellishments on this card, and then again, maybe embellishments here, and some embellishments here and here, and I will embellish on one of these to kind of cover some things up. So as you remember, my embellishments consist of candles, I'm not going to use the stencil, We've got these two little cakes up, some presents, not going to use the stamps, not going to need the paper bits. We do have some sequins that we're going to pop in. Three ephemera pieces, and I have some, uh, just a random case, and the two sticker sheets. So that's what we're going to focus on, and I'm going to do one individually. Um, so when I finish one, I will come back and talk to you about it. Progress update. Here is the first one. I've got a metal tag. 
the cute sticker and then I framed them hugging. I've popped in some sequins right around. So that's the first one. I've let them dry so that I can slide this right in. And hopefully we won't pop any of those off. There you go. This one right here just finished up. Did some fussy cutting <laughs> because those you guys know how I feel. And then I framed that with a whole bunch of sequins. So that one still has to dry and we'll pop that in. Now we've got to do this one and this one and the front page will be done and I'm feeling pretty good about it. Um, so give me just a minute. I'll be right back. So I got my journaling, make a wish. I put a cake and cut it off. A few sequins there. And then for this one, I just added some sequins to this one and a little cluster down here. Put happy birthday because like, why not? and more sequins. So that's the first page. Now we gotta do the next page, right? So let me go ahead and pull some of those things in. But you guys, look, I really am like, this sheet is getting killed. This one, not so much. Um, there's only a few more elements left in this. So I am feeling good. <laughs> about the progress we're making on this kit, but not a lot of pictures left. So definitely going to get this um, project finished up in August. So I am super excited about that. However, like next weekend, you guys know we're going to the Cardinals game. Um, we're getting a puppy. A lot of things are happening in August as well. So there'll just be that many more things. And also I need to find my the rest of my Grateful Dead pictures. So, now we just have to do a little bit here. And we might be done. I don't know what I'm going to do, Jess. I will add some sequins and stuff, but the best way, you guys, use your big photos. Kill these freaking page protectors. That's what I'm trying to do. So, that was my, that was my little bit of a flare, right? Because I, I, I really thought that, you know, Project Life was going to be my thing. Guess what it is not? My thing. You know what I mean? So, I am thinking... I'm just going to come in. And let's see if we can get... Just a whole bunch of these. See how bad this looks, right? It could actually look... Not all that great, because they are pretty see-through. Um, but it is going to be something just a bit different. So I'm just going to layer these up. I will do several layers. I'm um, just creating like a little base for some embellishments to sit. This actually might be kind of fun. I'm going to run this one right there. It's also a good way to use up some extra stickers. So look at that. <laughs> You guys are probably like, what are you doing? And I'm like, <laughs> it is 11 o'clock at night. I don't know. I am never up at this time. But I'm not tired and I need to get some stuff done. So that's, that's where we're at in life. All right. Let's throw that away. And then we're going to come in. And I just want to put a big happy birthday. <laughs> I know, right? That was like crazy. Crazy. I did all that layering. Not gonna lie, I really actually kind of like it. I think it gives it some flair, some character. Just like, uh, because it's my story and I feel like I can tell it any way I want to, right? That's right, that's right. So we are just going to pop down just 
a few sequins there. And that one is done. So now I'm going to go do these two. And I'll come back and we will do our overview. But we are almost done. So go me. So this one I just went ahead and covered up what the little dog was saying with and many more. Added a few of those little hearts. Put some more cake with the cake and a few blue sequins. This one I added a little hectagons and some candles and it's a really good day as they are pulling away and that's it you guys I do hope you enjoyed today's layout here is what it looks like and flip it over and we are almost done with this particular uh, event that we had for our family which was back in May, and it's August, so yay. <laughs> Don't forget to check out everyone that plays along with Cut Apart Crazy. Give them the thumbs up, subscribe, like, everything. Please do that here as well. Also down below, I will have everybody playing with Around the World in 30 Days. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today, and I will see you later with another video. Bye.